Hey everybody, I'm going to teach you how to make a title screen and a logo for your GB Studio game. This is like a bonus episode. So let's go over here and check out the screen. If you don't have uh, paint.net yet, go back to the previous tutorial and see how to set that up for making pixel art. So we've got a new file here and turn off your anti-aliasing um, so you've got it set up. If you haven't set up your GB Studio palette you should do that too. We're going to resize the image so that it's the size of the Game Boy screen. So we're going to do 160 by 144. Okay, so 160 by 144 pixels and then we can zoom in a little bit. This is our background, so we'll go ahead and use our paint bucket tool and we'll paint that all black. We can create a new layer and we can click this little wrench here and rename that layer text. If we wanted to go back and edit that layer and not the background, um, we could do that. We don't have to do that really for this tutorial, but it's something that you might want to think about in the future. So we'll click text and we'll pick a color and then we'll go ahead and pick a font we're going to click on this and it's going to say Mr. Moose Awesome Games if you want to make that centered then you can drag this around okay so our logo will be Mr. Moose Awesome Games. I bet you could be more awesome if you spent a little more time than I did. When you save it, you want to be in your GB Studio file. And don't put it in the Assets folder yet. You don't have to worry about that. Just keep it on the outside for now. We'll name it Logo Paint.net file. So you can come back and edit it later if you want to. We'll save that and then also save as a PNG because that's the kind of image file that Game Boy Studio reads so we'll do that save as a PNG okay cool um, so you want to flatten it so it can save it as the PNG you can always click undo and get your layers back that's what flattening does so then we want to go back to the text layer and we want to get rid of this text and we'll click delete and then we're going to save this as a new file called title screen okay you can save it at whatever you want but that's the place to start if you want to get some different fonts for your computer you can always uh, just google fonts. Uh, if you google pixel fonts, oh, there we go, pixel fonts, then you can look up some of these different places and find some pixel fonts. They'll get you some things. You probably want to look for something that's 100% free. That way, if you sell your game in the future when you're super famous, you don't have to worry about that unless you find a font you want to pay somebody to use. So if you find one that seems good, you can download the file, uh, VCR OSD, and then that will open up as a zip file. And then you can click on the font file, and it will ask you to install. Oh yeah, it's already installed. I did this once before. But sure, we'll replace it. Okay, And then that file should be on your computer so we'll look for that VCR file here in a second when we go back to paint.net so let's click on here and we'll write something new let's see if we have that VCR file now so down here and let's write awesome you tutorial game awesome you tutorial game okay 
So we'll drag that into place there. That'll work for now. And if you want to make it look like the actual game start screen, then maybe we'll make this a little smaller to see what this looks like. Then say press start. Cool. Alright. Then we can click out of there. So if you don't really like how the start didn't line up where it wanted, where it didn't quite line up with the other ones, you can do Control X and Control V. So I cut it and then I pasted it back, but that way I can move it around wherever I want to. So I can use my arrow keys or my mouse to get that just lined up the way I want it. Okay, and of course you can spend way more time than I just did, but you get the idea. Awesome U tutorial game, press start. That's basically what I wanted to show you for this. Um, and so next time we'll get this into our Game Boy file. So save it as a PDN and then save it again as a PNG. So you have all of those files ready for you when you get ready to place it into your backgrounds folder. All right, have a good night.